Hi there, welcome to this new video. Uh, I will soon jump into the specific presentation on my computer. But before I do that, I wanted to welcome you and show you how you can integrate Moodle and Teams in, with mConnect in a proven, trusted way that has proven to work. So, uh, welcome once again. And uh, now I will dive into the presentation on my computer. So, let's uh, dive into the Moodle Teams integration using mConnect that we are covering today. My name is uh, Thomas Andre, and I work for a company here in Norway named Schooler, and I'm an advisor for collaboration. Here at Schooler, we have been helping the education sector with various software solutions since 2015. We have developed apps uh, and web services for IT departments, school leaders, students, parents. And today we are going to focus on our product mConnect. We have offices in Norway, USA, UK and Sweden. and Thanks to Teams, we are able to serve and support customers and partners globally from our head office here in Norway. So there are some, uh, some uniqueness to what we hear from our users. They are uh, seeing that their current platforms when it comes to IT does not um, or don't uh, support them going forward based on how they plan to um, schedule their in-class teaching, uh, remote teaching, etc., etc., they see that they have to make some uh, changes because collaboration is here to stay. It's not something that will disappear uh, in a week, a month, or in a year. Uh, it has given us some uh, very, very useful ways to join classes from anywhere more or less they want to make sure that they don't have uh, silos uh, in their systems which are not integrating with other systems that are being used and they see also that if they don't have more control the lecturers the students will download and try uh, their own solutions and you actually end up with a system jungle with a lot of software that are not supported by IT and the staff and everyone is not properly uh, proper trained. In addition, they have uh, built up a lot of manual work to try to compensate for the lack of integration, uh, try to compensate the silos that they've been having and all this manual work also creates a lot of uh, possibility for failure. So if we can remove the, those manual work, uh, there will also be less failures and absolutely also give them more control of what's happening in their network. So let me ask you a question. Are you working in two disconnected systems for learning today. On the left side, we have Teams. On the right side, we have Moodle. And you are probably sending uh, students to the left and to the right, and back to the left and back to the right. Um, so what is your answer to this question? Well, for us, we believe that connecting the two systems are much better. It gives a better learning experience, uh, more control of the workspace that the students are using, more uh, possibilities for the teachers to interact with the students. So what you see here is actually Moodle brought inside Teams. And it's not only just viewing Moodle inside Teams, you can actually use Moodle inside Teams here. Click, navigate, and do everything that you are used to from before. 
why would you look into integrating Moodle and Teams? Well, we have learned that Moodle will never be Teams and Teams will never be Moodle. So there will be features and processes around those two systems that will never um, make them become one. We also see that you have invested a lot of money, content, expertise into Moodle, which you could take years to create on another platform. Hence, we want to make sure that you keep all your investments in Moodle. We also see that the benefits of using Teams have never been bigger, and that's what uh, you can use for collaboration, interaction between teachers and students. Because when there is more interaction, there is usually also more productivity, and having one workspace where students and teachers can interact, that's what we are striving to accomplish. We believe that Moodle and Teams are better together than being by themselves. Marcus, he has been using MConnect for quite some time now at Leeds Trinity University. While Teams offer amazing opportunities for live teaching, we did not want to lose the pedagogically focused Moodle platform and the control, reporting and customization it brings. Why choose between them when you can have both? With MConnect, you don't have to choose between platforms. Instead, you can bring both together for a feature-rich and seamless experience. With MConnect, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. We thank Leeds Trinity for being one of our valuable users. The Moodle community is growing day by day. The same goes for Microsoft Teams usage. Both of them are seeing large uptakes these days, and we know that collaboration is here to stay. The organizations are looking for tools to help them transition to be able to support the new modern learning environment. And they are not so interested in short-term solutions as they were last year. Now the discussions we are having with our customers are with a long-term perspective. When you are going to integrate uh, Microsoft Office 365 with Moodle, it's important that you go the proven way. If you don't do that, you might end up in uh, a way that you will not be able to get yourself out of. So for MConnect, we are promoted by Microsoft on the Teams for Education portals. We have been approved by Teams App Store, and we're also attending Microsoft GEPS conferences where Microsoft partners are able to uh, share their products and services with the rest of the community. Here are more of uh, our valuable users, and we hope that you also will join this uh, list very, very soon. But you know, it all comes down to the details. What are the features that are supporting your vision of remote learning and being more forward lean when it comes to collaboration and your learning tools? Well, I first want to mention that MConnect is working in the background, identifying and mapping the users that you have in Moodle with the users that you have in Azure and identifying the un unique uh, users one by one. It doesn't mean that we are mapping all your users, only those who are in Moodle in those active courses. So we are adding the 
members of the course in Moodle, teachers and students to the team. When the students or teacher uh, are quitting the team in, uh, sorry, the course in Moodle, we're also unenrolling that person from the team. So you will always have up to date team memberships based on how Moodle is uh, being updated for the same course. In the NConnect management portal, uh, we have given IT the possibility to create teams in batch or one by one. It depends on your way of working. You want to create all the courses for the next semester or you want to create a few ones and I'll also show you a third option very, very soon. When you're using MConnect to create teams, you're actually able to customize the way, customize the way that the team will be created. You can have topics as uh, channels. You can have groups in your course having their own private channels, etc., etc. You can even take an existing team that you are using today for one of your courses which of course is disconnected from the Moodle course itself. And you can look it up in our management portal and you can map that existing team to the corresponding Moodle course in a few seconds. You also have an opportunity to empower your teachers to create the teams themselves. And this is happening 100% automatically in the background, as I mentioned, with synchronizing the users, uh, which templates they are using, etc. So through the MConnect app here that you see on the left side, you'll be able to instruct your teachers to create teams for one or more of their courses. And I know many of you today are having this as a manual task in IT where you're receiving uh, orders for from your lecturers to create teams on their behalf and you have to manually add the members maybe the teacher has to sit in the evening and weekend to add the members and when there is some update you have to sit again and update your team with mconnect this is 100 percent automated here are some highlights of the key features um, that we have created together with Microsoft to support the Moodle community, to make sure that the education sector is having all the features that you need to run an efficient learning and teaching environment in your school. We were looking for one workspace where our teachers and students could have access to all course resources without adding complexity. With MConnect, we achieve that in a very easy and efficient way. I can recommend it to other organizations who are looking for a proven integration between Moodle LMS and Microsoft Teams. Thank you, Raman, for giving us these kind words. What did you like the most of what you saw? This was just a brief introduction. Well, I guess it depends on your pain points today, what your challenges are, where you are heading with your IT ecosystem, and what kind of work you have already put into this. What I would like to say is that the MConnect features are unique and that we are still developing new features in our roadmap. We are here to help you and uh, we would really appreciate if you reached out to me or any of my colleagues on the following email address or the website. You can also read more on the website and we'll be happy to show you how MConnect can work for your organization. We're also happy to set up a demo for you so you can try it out 
uh, at no cost and see how it works in your learning environment. That was all I had for today. Uh, until uh, next time, take care and hope to see you soon. And uh, hope we will talk soon as well.